Hello friends and welcome to another pen pal with me video. Today we are making a fun spring cottage core theme and it is for my pen pal Alice who goes by a letter from Alice I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I always forget what everyone's Instagram names are because obviously I just think of them as their real name but I recently bought this green um, I guess it's like tartan print paper from a craft shop a few weeks ago and I've been saving it for like the perfect theme so I really wanted to use it with some strawberry stationery um, because I think that it would go well to make a cute cottage core theme so I'm excited to finally be able to make it and I also want to apologise in case you hear any strange background noises I'm kind of recording this last minute so there's lots of car noises and crows making noise in the background so yes it might be okay but if you hear anything then I'm sorry but I'm adding this heart doily onto the envelope and it's actually possible that Alice sent me this doily like last year in a Valentine's theme and then this little memo I think it goes so well with the letter because it's got the green and then it's got little raspberries in the corner and I think one of you guys sent me that as well in some P.O. Box mail and then I thought that this would be a good idea to use my new girl sticker so this is from the cottage core set which goes pretty much perfectly with the theme and I also had this little cherry mini doily as well and then some different memos. I did plan out how to make this envelope at the start but whenever I plan it and then when it comes to making it it just never looks the same so I guess I just kind of try and plan out the composition a little bit and then try and match that as much as possible when it comes to actually making it. So I'm adding some of the note and wish strawberry gingham washi tape which is pretty much perfect for this theme and I also have it in peach as well which is really cute um, but I'm glad it is finally spring so the clocks have changed here today so that means that it's going to be brighter for longer in the days so I'm really excited for that because I've missed the sunshine although it is nearly April which means it's time for April showers which means we'll have lots of rain here and gloomy days probably but I don't mind the rain too much but if it's raining I like it to be like really heavy rain like I hate when it's just spitting or like drizzling a little bit if it's gonna rain then it needs to like properly rain and it's not long till my birthday either my birthday is in April and I am going to be holding a pen pal contest to celebrate it over on Instagram so keep an eye out for that but it won't be like Mailtober where you have to make something every single day of the month it'll just be like one thing for the whole month so it's a lot more chill this time and I have these big strawberry stickers that I got from Aliexpress in one of my recent hauls and I just think they're so cute like the illustrations are just so whimsical and dreamy and I like how big the stickers are as well and I find that the red that they've used on the strawberries isn't like really in your face it's like kind of like a dull a dull red which works really well so I wasn't sure which green pen to use for Alice's name I was thinking of like this light green and then I also went with this dark green and I do think that the pastel green kind of works better but when I outlined it and had finished and cut it out I don't know it just looked weird on the envelope so I ended up using the darker one and it still looks really cute I do think that it goes well and it helps her name stand out a little bit better as well And then I'm also adding my white pen and this one has nearly run out so I think I need to get a new one um, but I got this one whilst I was on holiday like really far away from where I live so 
I need to try and find the same pen or an equivalent that is just as good. So if you have any white gel pen recommendations, please let me know them below because I'm always on the lookout for a good one that lasts a long time. So I'm just putting Alice's name in the middle of the envelope and I am just using some Tim Holtz quote stickers as well because I just find that it finishes off any sort of collage and envelope. I just have one more week left at work and then I have two weeks off work so I'm really excited for that because I'm kind of behind on YouTube and pen pal letters and things so I'm looking forward to having two weeks to just craft and reply to everybody's mail and I've also recently got a few new pen pals so I'm excited to send them their first mail as well because it's always fun to get to know somebody new um, it's kind of like the beginning stage of a pen pal friendship is always a really exciting time and then I decided to make the flip book and I wanted it to not be too complicated inside I just wanted to have some simple pockets like one for all the goodies and then I wanted another one for the letter and the questions and answers so I just started to decorate some A4 card that I folded in half and I'm just using a lot of the same stationeries that I use on the envelope so that it all ties together and I also have these really fun mushroom die cuts that one of my pen pals Ocean sent me and I just thought it got really well with the theme like kind of like the cottage core vibes and I just wanted to put it at the bottom just to like finish it off a little bit and I'm actually making some new kind of YouTube videos soon so it's like a new series and it's going to be very similar to opening pen pal letters but I will be opening all the mail from one pen pal so you will see like because some of my pen pals I've had for like three years so you will see all of the mail that they have sent me in one video and I'm really excited to do this because I just think it would be really fun to see how my pen pal style has changed and kind of like remind myself of all the other themes and I think it would be a good way to get some more inspiration because I like looking at people's like old mail um, to kind of like inspire me to think of some new ideas or if I'm not sure what to create so keep an eye out for that as well and that is the front of the flipbook decorated. I just stuck on some pet tape and some memos and of course more of the strawberry stickers as well. And then here I'm just using some vintage paper to make the goodies pockets. I wanted to just fold it over and then I was meant to make the top bit a pocket as well, but I ended up sticking it down wrong I basically like glued the whole back down which meant that I only had one pocket which was kind of like a bit of a nightmare but you know it's fine um it just means that the other side of the flip book will also have to be pocket for goodies too and then I would just have to add the letter and question and answers in separately instead this time but that's fine um I just wanted to make the other pocket pretty similar and then I just wanted to decorate the front of the pockets but not with too much on because I wanted the focus to be on all the goodies inside. Um, another exciting thing that is happening soon is that I'm going away for a couple of nights into like a private forest in a little hut where no one else is going to be and there's going to be loads of deer and squirrels around and cute things and I'm going to record a video there to show you guys kind of like an outdoor journal with me if you like in the forest so I'm really excited for that because I think it'll be cute to have like all the bird noises and things in the background of the voiceover 
Um, yes, that was where I just realised that I'd stuck the whole thing down. Um, so yeah, lots of fun videos coming. So if you haven't already subscribed, then please make sure you do so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And it's just nice to have more people join and enjoy my content. So yeah. Now I added a, another girl sticker on the front along with some more of the strawberry washi. And then this little stamp in the bottom right corner. That is from one of my pen pals. And she also has an Etsy shop. And her stickers are really nice and like really good quality. Um, her pen pal account and shop is pen pal Gabby C. So if you want to have a look at that, check that out. And then I just added some strawberry stickers, just like simple ones that are from AliExpress. And then I had some leftover handmade paper hearts from Patreon. So I added one of those for her and one of my girl stickers as well. Alice's style is like, she really likes vintagey stuff, but then I also wanted to give her like fruity strawberry vibe stuff to go with the theme, so I found it really hard to find goodies that all fit together. So I hope that Alice likes the things that I sent her. Um, and then I also added some of the strawberry stickers that I used in the whole of this theme. And then I found this washi sample that I forgot I had and I just wanted to add it somewhere because the red just went so nicely um, with everything else so I just added that as a last minute <laughs> thing but yeah I hope you enjoyed this pen pal with me today with a nice spring theme to get you in the spring mood and let me know what you think below in the comments and hopefully I will see you next time so I hope you enjoy the rest of your springtime and I will see you soon, so goodbye!